She didn't want to be interviewed, but did say that earlier in the day she did smell gas. Others in the area tell us they have smelled gas over the weekend and even reported it to DTE. They smelled it at the corner of Florence and Sussex. Okay. So we right don't know. The explosion one. Yeah, yeah. Lisa Thornton had some damage at her house due to the explosion. One of eight residents to be directly affected. Even the house that's next door, you can tell somebody lives there because the um, TVs are still mounted to the wall and their whole side of their house is gone. The lady says she was in the living room, but she's fine. The focus now turns to cleaning it all up. DTE has turned off the gas and the power to the home so that officials can pinpoint a source and to ensure this can't happen again. The good thing about it is nobody got injured. And that really is the good thing. And right now the priority is cleaning all this up so they can open up the streets. Now the city did reach out to the other people that were affected, the other houses that were damaged. They said that they offered them a place to stay for the evening, a hotel room. Four of those families did take them up on the offer. They say they don't know when it will be safe for them to return. So there is no timeline on when that offer will be rescinded. But uh, a lot of work here to do at the scene. Reporting live in Detroit, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Dave, if uh, the residents there claim they smelled gas over the weekend or yesterday or even earlier today, do we know if they reported it, if DTE responded? I mean, what is the electric and gas company saying about this? Yeah, the electric and gas company, DTE, isn't saying much. They did issue a statement about this saying that they are aware of a house explosion and that safety is a top priority. They didn't say anything about any of the prior complaints, how they are addressing those, how many they received, stuff that we will definitely be following up with in the days to come. Yeah, certainly questions that need to be answered. Dave, thank you for that report.